I have already made some videos about Riverpod, but I have used the stable version. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, use this development version, and uh, obviously, you don't have to use this development version during production. And yeah, now let's install it by copying it from the official documentation. Uh, inshallah, I'm going to leave a link uh, if I remember. Okay. And now let's go into VL Visual Studio Code. I have already created a similar project. I have deleted all the other stuff and uh, I have inserted a simple stateless widget. So let's head on into the pubspec.yaml. Okay. Okay. And save. Now we can go here and type import flutter river on. Okay, uh, we have imported it. And um, so right now we want to create a variable that stores our provider. And don't worry if the uh, variable is global because uh, the provider is immutable as is stated into the documentation. So uh, it is. Uh, it says that it is like if you define a function, so you absolutely don't have to worry. So we are going to define it with final my provider and calling the provider package. And here it returns back a strange ref parameter that we are going to see in a moment, inshallah. And here the value that we want to return. So how it works. Uh, first of all, this, uh, this is the most simple type of provider uh, and you call it only by calling provider. And uh, it, it gives you a parameter called ref that contains some information about provider and you can use it to call for example other providers with with some methods that it has and inshallah we're going to see it in a moment and um, yeah and here you uh, you can return anything you want in our case we are returning a string and it is going to return a string as a value we can create as many providers we want with the same type it is not a problem we can return any type we want a number uh, an integer a string anything we want and um, as i said this is the most simple provider um, it has the value that it is uh, static so it doesn't have a state and it doesn't change and yeah so the question now is how we are able to get the value of this provider here. So basically in the previous versions you are you were able to call context that and you had for example watch or read. In this new version things are uh, a little bit different because uh, uh, if you want to call uh, a provider first of all you need a uh, ref that it is this thing here and to get ref uh, there is uh, we have basically uh, two ways and we are able to call them by creating a new type of widget that replaces this one here the stateless widgets and the stateful widget so for the stateless widget, instead of using the stateless widget, we must use the consumer widget. So just like this. And uh, what happens when you use a consumer widget? It is absolutely uh, identical and the same as the uh, stateful widget. And the only thing that is different that here you have another parameter that you of type widget ref and uh, yeah you have this second parameter here so and now you are able to um, to get your value 
and obviously you in the um, in this consumer widget the stateless uh, widget under the hood uh, you uh, are able to call the ref only here inside the build and obviously uh, you will need it only here inside so let's save our uh, value mm, my some text is equal and we can use ref that watch and we can call our provider so let me add here some text and let me delete the cons from here and then now we can save and let's run our application so basically now we have uh, this rep and we are able to call our provider so the the most important thing that you had to understand is that you have two ways to uh, read a provider and you have ref.watch ref.watch and uh, ref.read so you should always and always and always try to use uh, ref.watch uh, and ref.watch works in this way it is able to read the provider and uh, if something changes it re-renders that thing that changed so it all, not only listens for things it it not only um, read things but it, it is able to uh, to listen to them and change them when they change i hope that this is clear and and instead for ref that read you are only able to read them but as the developer that created this package it says that it is always better if you use watch uh, even if you even if you want uh, things that doesn't change instead you should do a little trick that uh, inshallah we're going to see but you should always try to prefer this one and for example if i remember well in callbacks you should use uh, ref.read for example if you have uh, on press uh, you should use ref.read so so that's it you have these two ways and uh, you don't have to worry for the performance thing because um, uh, because maybe you may think that by using uh, ref that will you uh, you save a little bit of uh, of performance you you have a better performance but it is not the case uh, so obviously this type of provider as i said before it, it never changes so we are not not going to see this thing with this type of provider and yeah so obviously now now before starting the application uh, we uh, want to do one thing we must first wrap our my app with provider scope so provider scope child okay okay i want second consent so yeah we should wrap it with provider scope uh, so now we uh, are able to put this variable here and uh, we can now um, run our application so as you can see we have now our text well so now we want to take a look at another provider that uh, it is different from this one it has uh, it is able to change so it, it has a state and it is called state provider uh, so now the different thing when you call it for example is that obviously this here you have the same things you always watch to it with watch and here you should call the state instead of calling it right uh, like this so and uh, remember as i said before you should use a consumer widget and you should you you will use it instead of stateless widget so now we can save and uh, restart our application 
let me change this text and our text. So here we have uh, our new text. Let me hide the this bar here. We don't really need it. Okay. This one, something like this. Okay. We have our text. So now, now we can change the value of our text. Uh, let's create a simple button here. So now if we press here, we, uh, you can see that the text change. And we have used the always ref and we have used read as I said before, because when you are uh, using a callback, you should use uh, read instead of watch. And for those who don't know, a callback is a function that you pass to, for example, on pressed. And uh, when you press the button, this function get executed okay i hope that uh, it is clear and uh, so it is a function that gets executed but by unpressed when uh, it needs it and yeah and to change the state of your provider you always reference to the state property and you change your state and so you should, as I said before, again, you should always prefer to use ref.watch only when you must, you, you can use uh, ref.read. And as I said, inside callbacks is uh, the thing uh, where you have to put them. So now we want to change our consumer widget in the, instead, of, um, instead of using uh, uh, this type of widget, we want to create another one let me comment out this one and we want to create uh, a stateful widget that we can call my app as before and reality we can call all this part here okay and we can call this one here too so let me change the text And um, so basically now, as I said before, the thing is that we need the ref. And to use the ref, uh, as before, uh, we cannot use a stateful widget, but we must use a consumer stateful widget. And uh, another uh, thing that we must change is here the state and instead of using state we should use consumer state and the difference between uh, this consumer stateful widget and the other uh, consumer widget um, is that uh, here instead of getting ref as the second parameter you will get it as a property so uh, so for example you can just call ref like this obviously you cannot call it here uh, but uh, if you do do init state you can call it here f that free as you can see for example or obviously it is better f that watch so as before we are able to call it here also we can call it here any in any um, basis we want for example in dispose and other phases and yeah and here we have basically the same application of before we can now restart and see that uh, basically uh, nothing changes so now if we press the button things change as before 
And now let me show you the last thing that uh, counter provider example. And we can create a state provider. Here now we are going to create another provider that will contain a simple counter. And uh, it will return zero, that is the first value. And we can return it here. Okay. And basically here, instead of this one, we want to call here, uh, we want to create, call our counter and we want to increment it. And here inside the, uh, here we want to change the type instead of my provider, counter provider, and we can call it my counter, for example just to change things a little bit let me restart again so now if we press this button here we can change our value so if you don't want to uh, the provider to rebuild his state and you want to uh, save a little bit of uh, performance, let's say, uh, instead of uh, using ref.read, as I said before, you should use a notifier here. Obviously, we are not going to check the, sta the state anymore. And uh, here in this variable, obviously, um, this is only a controller, so, here instead uh, what we want we want to read the state so now let's save now if we press the uh, button as you can see uh, nothing happens and uh, let's type print and type our counter as you can see uh, now if i type only counter and I update, you will see that this is only a controller, so we are not really watching the state from here. Okay, uh, now as you can see, I have only a state controller, and we want to take a look at the state. So let's save again. Okay, now we are ready. Now, if you press the button, the button, as you can see, Nothing happens here on the screen, but the value is updated. So this is a way that where uh, that you can use uh, uh, watch instead of read if you don't want to render everything, and you just have to call the notifier property, and instead of the state, and yeah, and that, then it is. Uh, like the other way so and uh, this thing it is not a workaround but it is how it is described into the documentation so it is an official thing that it is explained by by the who uh, created uh, this package so yeah for thing for today is everything everything and if you found this video useful uh, check out my channel. I have other things about Flutter and inshallah you can subscribe and like the video to help me. Okay, see you the next time. Bye.